Hi, I'm James, and in this video we are taking a look at this, which is a Dell Inspiron 15 3501 laptop with the Intel 11th Gen Core i3 11th 15 G4 processor. There are other Tiger Lake and I believe Ice Lake variants of this laptop available as well. And we are starting by removing the base. Uh, this is a Philips O si or zero size screwdriver bit. The two screws in the top corners are larger screws, uh, are retained in the chassis, I believe, whereas the rest are removed. All the screws on this system are exposed and just around the bases. There should be none hidden below any stickers or so on. So we start by just removing all of these from the base. And what we should see is these back corner ones, because they are retained, just lift the corners of the chassis out rather than coming out themselves. And this should make it really easy to get our pry tool in to lift the back panel away. So with those removed, we take our plastic pry tool and what we can see is along the edges here, it is already raised because of these two screws. And we can then hopefully quite easily insert our pry tool, unclip along the back here. And lift slightly. Get them working along the side. Make sure those are fully released by just pulling up and undoing them if they don't come freely. And then just peeling the base of the laptop up and actually that is one of the easiest that I have found to remove. The fact it lifts it up so long as you make sure those are free then makes removing it a really simple task. Once inside the system our first task then is simply to disconnect the battery and to do that we are going to get our fingers in to the side of the white part of the connector here and gently just ease that connector out. This ensures that there is no power going to the system so if we have accidentally left it asleep uh, as opposed to shutting it down before beginning the work, the system is fully off and we are not going to cause any damage. Next, we are going to disconnect the display from this connector here. So lift the plastic clip and unhook the display. Then technically it's not essential to remove the battery, you can access these with the battery in place, but it makes disconnecting and reconnecting them a lot easier. So we are going to remove the three screws holding down the battery and lift that out of place. With that done, we can then do these connectors here for, I believe, keyboard. If your system has a backlight, the backlight connector there must also be disconnected. The touchpad, the 2.5 inch SATA hard drive, the I.O. board, and the fingerprint sensor. Now we can remove the system fan, which is held in by two screws. And then unplug the fan itself. Now 
this slots out underneath the heatsink. From here, we can then disconnect the power button. We also want to disconnect the DC jack. And then finally, we want to lift this corner hinge. Obviously here you are removing quite a few screws, so try and keep track of what has come from where, as they are different sizes. With those removed, we can now lift the hinge, connect from the board. And difficult to see, but underneath this hinge there is a screw holding down the main board. This hinge does not like being particularly widely opened, so it is just a case of uh, with, without being sort of screwed down. So it is a case of just get the screwdriver in underneath there as best you can, I've found, and then I'm just going to lower that down to stop it flexing the rest of the machine. With that done, we should now simply be able to lift the main board and assuming we have all the connections free, lift it off of the two little mounting locator pins and lift it out. To replace it we then want to slot the board in, making sure this power connector is pulled up over here and it actually slots sort of just underneath the board. Make sure any cables are not going to get trapped underneath and press the board back down making sure it goes over these various mounting points. We are then going to open the hinge up as much as we can again and refit this screw as best we can given the fairly tight access for this. And then push the hinge back closed and then going to just make sure that all of our connectors are accessible trapped beneath and so our job now is going to be first of all reconnect the power connector fingerprint sensor I.O. Hard drive. Touchpad. Keyboard. Speaker. And DC power jack. Obviously go through, double check to make sure that you have reconnected everything that is required. There's nothing more frustrating than putting the laptop back together and realising you've missed the touchpad or the keyboard or something similar. We are then going to refit this hinge. screen replace the fan slotting that in under the heatsink make sure you plug in the fan because again nothing more frustrating than uh, turning the machine on 
and realizing a few minutes later that the fan is not connected and everything's got rather hot. So push that fan connector in and refit the two screws. With all that done, we can now replace the battery, slotting it in to this little plastic mounting point here, and then lining up the other three mounting points. And with that done, our main board is replaced. Now we are left to reconnect, reconnect the battery by slotting that back in there. And then we need to take the base, place that back on. And with that lined up, we now press along the front to clip this base panel back on. and then screw in the back corners. And then we can simply press that down and replace the screws into the base of the machine. I hope you found this video useful. Um, if you have any questions, of course, please feel free to ask them in the comments below. Hit subscribe if you'd like to see more videos as we post them, and the like button if you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.